Coming up, you're gonna discover a cool little monetization hack that my guests stumbled upon. And it's a cool little trick that you can use, although it's a little sneaky. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is your boy, Stevie B. Young, back and better than ever. And in this video, I actually just recorded a brand new course for the new App Masters Academy with my friend, Kevin from risinghigh.net. If you go to risinghighacademy.com, you're going to find his awesome, awesome course where you can see how he develops games, how he designs games, how he makes games, and then subsequently gets that featured by Apple. He talks a lot about monetization, publishing, design, anything related to mobile games, really phenomenal stuff. So go check out risinghighacademy.com. But for this particular video, he came on and shared his expertise with all the members for App Masters Academy. I got to interview him and really grill him and ask him about the nitty gritty details about how he designs his apps, how he thinks about working with different mobile, pu mobile game publishers, and then finally, how he actually gets an Apple feature. But in this segment, the one that I wanted to pull out because I've been getting so many questions from everybody about monetization was me asking him about the best practice of monetization. I said, Kevin, give me something extra. Give me a little ninja tip that for monetization. Because we all know the basics, right? Rewarded video, make sure you get people engaged. I mean, it's rewarded video, right? And so I said, give me something more. And he did. And you're gonna discover this little thing that he stumbled upon and he was like, whoa, this was really good. Now bear in mind, there was some I said, bad, press that came out of it, but he actually did tremendous when it came to ad revenue. So you're going to hear this video and then I'll be back after you hear from Kevin. So stay tuned. But next I want to move on to the monetization side of things. I know it's a question sure. I get a ton of, and I'm sure you do Kevin as well. It's like, yeah. all right, I've got a great game. You know, everybody feels pretty positive about their games, but it's like, all right, I got users, but how do I make money off of this? So what's the best practice? Yeah, sure. Okay, so it depends where, I mean, we always go free to play uh, for casual games. Are yeah, paid, paid, yeah pay, paid games are like a tough gig, man. You're just, you're just not going to, it ain't going to work for you. <laughs> um, it just isn't. Um, so, yeah, free, uh, free to play. Uh, you should be looking really at a portrait game, uh, one touch, generally speaking. Um, so one-handed game, one touch portrait. Banners at the bottom, uh, interstitials, um, every... Well, it depends on the game. If you've got like, a super brutal rage game where you're dying a, an awful lot, um, you probably want to do your interstitials like, every seven or something, so pretty non-aggressive uh, to keep so people don't just delete your game. Um, they always work well. And some kind of uh, in-app... Uh, well, yeah, in-app purchases, sure, for characters and things like that. But you're better off with rewarded videos as much as you can. So either a rewarded video to skip a level or a rewarded video to earn coins um, or a rewarded video to like continue your game if it's a high score chaser. Something along those lines tend to work pretty well. Um, that That's really it for the casual. There's nothing. I think there's a danger that a lot of people try and overcomplicate this stuff. Um, it just works. It always has done. Uh, show them a video and just, just don't be... Don't be annoying about it. Um, players are used to it now. Uh, they just are, um, and it works. Um, in our purchases for us, go on, sorry. Sorry. Is there a clever way that you've used, because I've heard a lot about rewarded videos. Obviously, it's like the, the best monetization unit for most yeah. casual games. Have you figured out a way, like, you know what, I found out, like, I came up with this clever little hack for a word of video that if I just show it on this particular uh, if, point. If, if, you want, if you want an underground, dirty black hat. Always. If you have your, uh, if you put a play button on your rewarded video to make it look like a play button, you will get a lot of people press that thinking they got to restart the game and to watch the rewarded video. We had that, um, not by design, I have to say, we did that. Um, I'm going to say by mistake because it wasn't deliberate. Um, it was like, watch this to skip. But I, I had a little play button on there 
and that crushed it totally. Um, but we did get a lot of reviews saying, oh, you're watching a video every time you restart. Oh, so there okay. was a restart button, uh -huh. but people were clicking on the rewarded video to skip, thinking that was the restart button. So oh, if you've got a ton of traffic and, you, and you're trying to make bank and you don't really care, uh, I would uh, design your rewarded video button to look like the restart button and you'll get a ton, a ton of people click. But so you're trash the restart your button was like, it's like the little circle, right? It's, it's kind of like yeah, replay. And then, so you made that yeah. the rewarded video and then the play as the restart, the, um, so the triangle. So the play button, uh, yeah, they both look very similar. Okay. So we actually had a restart. I can't remember the exact thing. I'm pretty sure it was just like, you know, you get the like the refresh, the two little yeah. arrows to refresh. But the one, the rewarded video was like a play button. I and I, if I, it was a long time ago now. And I, it was kind of, I was going off the YouTube thing to like play to watch a video. But people were clicking that thinking that's how you restart the game. You replay by pressing the play button. Right. And the refresh button just didn't come into it. So, yeah, we made a ton of money on that. But uh, we did get, we did get a bit of backlash saying, you know, we have got to watch a 30 second ad every time to play the game. But, you know, it's like. The the money softened that blow, shall we say? So, um, if you if you wanna if you wanna do like if you wanna make bank and your that's your goal, then that's not a bad. That worked very well for us. Kevin, you look like such an innocent guy. I wouldn't think that you'd be up to these clever little I, I tricks. I swear to God, I swear <laughs> on my mum's life, we did not intend to do that, and we haven't done it since either. But now I just thought about it. You know what? This wasn't such a bad idea. But yeah, uh, that went really well for us. I'm kidding around and I actually think that I wouldn't nice. be confused as somebody, you know, who plays a lot of game being in the app space, but I don't, I don't know why they would be confused that I always look for that, you know, like that circle, that refresh circle. Whenever That's I right. It seemed quite obvious to me. I'll be, yeah. I, I, it I'm sure was it's a bigger too, right? Like you're like, it's front and yeah, center. It was, in, it, it was right. So you actually had to move your thumb to get there where the refresh was like just on uh, like bottom right or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so like I said, I wasn't too upset in the end of the day. I love that. Man. <laughs> I love that. Thank you for sharing that, man. I love that. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I know, not as cool as Kevin, but I gotta tell you, wasn't that phenomenal? Really cool trick. Now, do not use it unless you wanna play with fire, but I would say, you know, it is thinking outside the box and figuring out ways to incorporate video within your app. And then also, you know, playing around with just different elements of buttons to get people to really re-engage with the video too and get them to want to watch the video a little bit more but if you want to discover the whole course that kevin put together for us with me grilling him on a ton more topics the things that i got really out of this that you're gonna to have to check out in the course is kevin's game design process really 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 cool he shows us this mood board that he puts together and how this game that he starts thinking about merges with other games and then he shows us the prototype of his next game that's going to be coming out soon really cool i mean really geeky but i got a ton out of that one and then lastly apple feature we were exchanging notes on different apple feature tactics and he shared with me in nitty-gritty detail because i asked for it but nitty-gritty details on how you can leverage certain premium i would say certain blogs and certain websites to make sure that Apple sees your app and then subsequently get that feature. It's led for some of his members on the Rising High Academy to get featured by Apple, just using the tactics that he outlined in detail in that course. So if you want access to that course, go check out appmastersacademy.com. Kevin's course is in there along with our Apple feature course as well. We've completely revamped it to make sure that it is well more organized. The first version was MVP. So thank you for all the members who have sort of been in there and gave me some feedback, but now it's beautiful. I am very proud of it. So you're gonna have to check that out. And then lastly, I do wanna plug Kevin. He's a great dude and he's like, no, you don't have to do anything, but if you are interested and if you want access to his stuff and if you're related to games, in particular games, you're gonna have to check him out. He has 12 Apple features, okay? This guy's legit, all right? So you gotta check out risinghighacademy.com, risinghighacademy.com. I'm also doing a Q&A on there as well that you're gonna be able to check out, but it is risinghighacademy.com. And lastly, at mastersacademy.com if you want access to all my stuff along with Kevin's course that he did for us. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.